Hello again. Check this out. This is Birdman 316 out here at the park in Pebble Beach. But we don't have the truck with us today. We've been running that thing pretty hard lately. We're going to let him rest for a couple of days. What we have here today, check this out. This is the MJX Cyclone. I'm not sure if it's a 708. I know the Ishin model is very, very much like this, practically probably the same bird. It's called the, I think it's called the E708. But I think this one's just called the Cyclone. It looks just like our friend the Bugs 2C. Just like it for the world. A whole lot smaller though. But this is going to be its maiden flight. And here's the transmitter right here. It says Cyclone right there. Where normally the LCD uh, readout would be. This transmitter is all stockers. Nothing's been changed on it. I'm, I'm going to dress it up a little bit. I already have it on. Everything's bounded up and everything. This is this one's maiden flight. We're going to go ahead and fly this. We're going to get the timer set for six minutes. And hopefully, I'm sure with a 650 milliamp battery in there, it's going to give us six minutes. I hope. I'm sure it will. There's nothing on there. There's no cameras, no Wi-Fi, no nothing. So here we go, we're going to start the timer, and we're going to fire this bad boy up, bad girl up, and away we go. It's her very first flight, my very first time flying it. Now you notice I have the lights off. There's a switch on here, which is right here. Turn the lights back on, turn them off. We're at speed number one, now this right here, this uh, switch right here. Speed number two. We'll put it back to speed number one because this is very first flight. If you'll notice something on the front of this, let me bring it over here. Notice something on the very front. That's my orientation help so I can orientize the front from the back. keep my orientation correct here now at night those uh, stripes or anything won't help you out so you gotta go by the lights at night this one seems to fly really good I'm getting used to the throttle and everything and plus I'm going easy on it because this is only its first flight it had some idle time to break in those brushes on these little motors here but we are taking it easy on the very first flight. In the second flight, we're going to be doing a comparison between this one and the SEMA X54. The X54 used to be, well, when I got mine, mine was junk. It had issues. It wouldn't fly right. Um, it's supposed to have hover hold. That wouldn't half work. And two minutes into the flight, it was uh, just um, all stick commands would be so sluggish and it'd be about useless. You wouldn't have no left bank. In other words, let's get this over here, I'll show you. In other words, on the SEMA, when it was new, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have that. It wouldn't have no bank or anything on the left. But right side bank, it had right bank. But on the SEMA, left bank, it was non-existent after the first two minutes or so of flying. Two minutes, yo, one, two. So I just tore it all down and put in a SEMA X5C board in the other bird and it's a whole 150% better. And we're going to see which one of these birds has more uh, pitch, more yaw, more roll, more just more power in there. This one's just a little bit smaller than the X54 but this one here it's just a little tiny bit bigger than the uh, JJRC H31, the waterproof one. But this baby loves to climb now. What I'm doing is I'm going to go back a little bit and see how far I can see those neon red. I'm going pretty far back. Coming back towards myself now. Nose in. Now have the lights off. Let's check out this yaw rate in speed number one. Not bad. Let's put her up in speed number two. Remember this switch right here. 
Elmer speed number two, let's check out this yaw rate. Well, not a whole lot faster, but um, more pitchy. Let's get back over this way a little bit, I'll show you. We're going to be doing some out and backs. We're going out. We're coming back. Got good air brakes. And side roll. Wow, this, this is nice. Oh yes, look at that bank turn. Yeah, this is very this is very first flight, so we're gonna take it easy going back to speed number one. We're more or less uh, running the motors in a little bit more. Now this light should be blinking if we hit LVC. And I think I did start the timer. Let me get back over here where the timer is so that we can hear the timer going off and we can keep an eye on the time itself. But those uh, red stripes, that's really nice touch for them. We have all white props on here. I got the timer on the ground. I'm gonna ease over this way a little bit with her. Flying right beside us here. It's like walking a dog. Walking a quad, walking a quad, yep. Let's see, uh, we got 49 seconds left on the timer, but we're going to fly around a little more. At least till LVC hits. We're just going to find out how long this will run with, with no camera, no nothing going on. Yeah, I'm out there, um, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure how far I am. I'm going to back up a little bit more. Let's see how far away I can see those uh, neons. Wow, that's... I can see those neons from over here. Neon red I have on there for orientizing my front from the rear on this bird here. Timer's going off, but we're gonna keep on flying a little bit longer. Cause I'm sure that 650 will give us more than uh, six minutes of flight. Or actually, five minutes and however many seconds I was jibber jabbering for a minute before I took off anyway, after I turned the timer on. But this, this is a nice bird right here. I mean, wow. And you can see those neon arms on the front. I even put them on the arms. I got them on the motor pods too. I also have them on the front. Just did a fly by real close like. But she's nice. She won't bite me. I don't think. I hope not. You notice I have a piece of black velcro on the bottom of the belly there. Let me bring it back around and show it to you. See on the bottom of the bird here? That is the future this is going to be an FPV bird right here. I think she's going to be really, really good one. Just put like a little uh, all-in-one VTX on the roof and Velcro strip, uh, Velcro a battery to the belly. That way you won't have all the way on the top and everything. And just have the camera up top and do some FPV. And I think this would be a really good bird, I mean, for FPV and stuff. As well as uh, line of sight, like we're doing right now. And we're speed number one. And she's doing a wonderful job. Now, Drocon has one just like this, but it's black. Oh, here we go. We got, uh, we got LVC. Yep, we got LVC. The lights are blinking. We're going to bring her over here. And we're going to do a catch grab. I had to reach and grab. But anyway, it's still a catch grab. But I had the lights off. And you can clearly see that they're blinking right now. It does have a long LVC because I ran the new battery last night running in the battery too. And this thing ran for a long time, even on LVC, but it's not good to do that. Except with the battery's brand new, you can, but under normal running, it's a good idea to at least think about bringing it in and landing it. 
so this is the MJX Cyclone. I'm not sure if it's a number like a X709 or F708, I mean. But it's a, we do know it's a Cyclone though. So with that said, this is Birdman 316. I hope you like that flight, the maiden flight of this little baby right here. This is Birdman 316. Sayonara.